Joining me is Anna Kate. Anna has personally seen and heard the evidence firsthand. She was there when the information was transferred to a, a person of, um, of influence in the United States government. Anna, break this all down for us. This is huge news. What are the implications for Obama, Hillary, Brennan? Uh, what did you hear on those audio recordings? First of all, I want to say, first of all, thank you, Gary, for having me on. I want to say this is the most explosive information that Americans and the entire world will ever hear. I have to say these men are heroes. Alan, Charles, Nick, they are American heroes. I, it's, it's an honor to even be a part of this. This I was not expecting this at all. I was attending American Priority Conference in Florida where Trump Doral, and they were the last ones to speak, save the last, best, best for last, because shockingly they gave this presentation dropped this benghazi bombshell on all of our heads and we're all wondering what in the world just happened i came up to um i i, I came up to honor 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 these wonderful men they're christian men they're spirit-filled men as a christian i wanted to honor them as american patriots and heroes and they were they basically said hey we need someone to help release this right now um would you help us and so uh, I jumped on the bandwagon. We got to my room right away, put the stuff out there. They showed me a lot of the documents. I heard the audios. I heard even more audios this morning. Gary, it is explosive. The audios that they have, um, I, I can't mention some of the names, but I'll tell you the biggest names in intelligence, the biggest names in the Obama administration, Brennan, Clinton. There's so much. It, it ties into Joe Biden. There is so much here. What this administration has done is absolute treason. Now, we all know, and not all of us actually in America are aware that something was wrong with Benghazi. Okay, there were red flags there, and there was big red flags with SEAL Team 6 who took out Osama bin Laden. Um, it was interesting timing right before Obama's re-election, how this, 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 you know, bin Laden uh, uh, raid happened. But turns out, that all of these stories, they're all linked together. This was, this is the best kept secret in this country until now. It is time to come forward. And I'm, I'm so blessed that this man, Alan, who has an extensive history in the Middle East, over 20 years working intelligence in the Middle East, who, uh, you know, regrets some of the things that he has done, but has come forward as a Christian saying, it's time to release this information. He has thousands of files, thousands of documents that are in the hands of um, of these whistleblowers. So it's a team effort and a lot of media sources have this information. As you have said, a Congress person has uh, received this disc last night. I was there. It happened right in front of me. Um, we're about to see some explosive things surface. I'll tell you a little quick preview of what it's about. Obviously, you have Nick No, who is a Benghazi whistleblower, who reached out to Charles Woods after his son died in Benghazi. He was a sniper up on the roof in Benghazi. His father, Charles Woods, never knew what happened to Tyrone Woods. He was lied to by the Obama administration, telling them that they have done everything that they could to protect those men, which was a bold Faced lie. They did not. Uh, and Alan, if, uh, and I'm sorry, Charles Woods explains it in the press, in his presentation, which is up on my YouTube. If you want to see the entire presentation, he explained what he, you know, Obama wrote him a, a three sentence letter, Gary, a three sentence Larry, a three sentence letter completely lying to him. Uh, and what happened was after Charles went on different interviews and it went, it went, went viral, there were intelligence people that reached out to Charles and said, that is not what happened. You were lied to. This is what happened. Uh, Benghazi, uh, Hillary Clinton and the Obama administration, they were they were um, they were sending weapons, sting, string missiles, stinger missiles from Libya to Syria. And it was going through Benghazi and uh, they allowed all those men to uh, be taken out because of what they knew. And he also found out in addition to that, which is insane. Um, he found out more information about the SEAL Team 6 with Osama bin Laden, which is what is all, all of this is coming out. It's right. all connected together. So from, from what I've been able to gather so far, um, you know, listening to the, the whistleblower himself, looking over the different articles that have already been published uh, in conversations with people, with yourself, um, other sources, what I'm able to gather here is that 
that the entire operation to take out Osama bin Laden was orchestrated with Hillary Clinton. So Hillary Clinton goes off. She sends out SEAL Team 6. They don't tell Obama. They say, Obama, you're going to have to deal with this because they've, they've been hiding Osama bin Laden in Iran. And apparently, I mean, even CBS News punted and the story Iran back And Iran knew in, about it. And Iran knew about it. They were hiding him there. Back in 2010, CBS News punted a story because they thought it would be harmful to, uh, to Barack Obama. So it, it was actually known, uh, but they, they dropped the ball. So what ends up happening is you have the SEAL Team 6 goes in, Hillary orders the hit, and then uh, Iran sends um, Osama bin Laden down to that, that hideout where he was supposedly hiding, but then they switch him out last minute. They switch him out last minute, yes. SEAL Team 6 goes in there, and they, they kill the decoy. And now they go up in the air, they, they finish their mission, but now they all know that they didn't kill Osama bin Laden, but America, everyone's celebrating in front of the White House that very moment. So now you've got a serious problem on your hands. And Iran says, guess what? We're going to tell the world that you lied to your people unless you send us the money. Is that basically what we're talking about in a nutshell here? In a nutshell, that's exactly what happened. And... Um it, the, the the implications of this, you know, the the administration in, cohor in cohorts with Iran uh, protecting protecting bin Laden. And I have to say, I just heard the audio clip this morning, this morning of a congressman. Uh, he will be named. He, I won't name his name right now, um, who is not a good guy, who is on these audio tapes with Allen talking about. Well, let's hold off killing Osama bin Laden until the time is right so we can use him as a trophy. The, the word you trophy a, wasn't used. You heard a congressman say that. that. Yes, I did. I heard it. I don't have the file. They have it. It's being released. It's, it's given to the congressman last night. Uh, media has it as well. Uh, hopefully soon they'll release it. But I heard this. I heard that on the uh, audio that they said, hold Osama until we're ready. And then what happened was Iran, last second, like you were saying, last minute, decided to take Osama out. And so there, uh, there was a decoy, a double, whatever it was. When the SEAL Team 6 came, team came in to kill Osama, they were they had direct orders not to take the body back home. You saw with Saddam Hussein, it was all over the place. You know, his pictures were everywhere. Uh, they took the body. They did a DNA test, confirmed it was Saddam Hussein. But with bin Laden, it was never happened. It never happened. They they told them to uh, basically throw his body parts over the mountains, which in the news media, they said it was in, they, they dropped his body in the water, which, by the way, is haram, which Alan explains, having lived in the Middle East over 20 years. He said, that's haram. When you bury a Muslim, you bury them in the ground and their head faces Mecca. There is no way that they would ever, as a Muslim and John Brennan, being director of the CIA, would know that because he's Muslim himself. Um, he would know not to ask them to drop it off over the mountain. So the Navy, the, the SEAL Team 6 knew what was going on, and I'm sure they knew they were in big trouble. And obviously they were all slaughtered and all, all left to die by this administration, not this administration, by Obama administration. And what happened, like you said, I ran on audio tapes. It's going to come out of making deals with the Obama administration and Joe Biden's administration saying, if you do not send us $152 billion, we will release this information and you will not get re, you know, reelected. So what now, did Obama well, you do? You, you, mentioned, you mentioned that money, but I also heard mm -hmm. Perot say there was $2 billion that was also earmarked. So I don't mean to interrupt you, but please okay. continue. No, that's exactly what I was going to get to. Exactly. So there was $2 billion in cash that was sent from America to Iran. That $2 billion on audio is recorded. I haven't heard it, but I know we have it, is that um, the, the administration said that that $2 billion cash is going to go back to the Americans, back to the politicians in order to keep their mouth shut. So they sent, uh, you know, $150 billion, but $2 billion in cash so it can come back and take care of the people who are keeping this massive treasonous secret. So, okay, so $2 billion gets redirected of that $153 billion, gets redirected back to the United States. Uh, 
I can only assume that some of the people on that phone call were recipients of that dirty money, perhaps that congressman, perhaps um, John Brennan, uh, Hillary Clinton. Uh, what are your thoughts? That's right. And, and actually, there's also a lot of documents that points Clinton Foundation with terrorism in, in the Middle East and also uh, McCain's foundation also implicated there. Uh, this is explosive. And once the congressman is, is going to go through this evidence, there's a plethora of it. Once he realizes that this is legitimate, that this that this is uh, this intel is coming from a source who is credible, not only that. Not only that, Gary, but there are other um, operatives who have uh, confirmed this information, specifically to Charles Woods, which I'm sure the congressman will, will speak to as well. So the implications of this is treason. Hang them. I'm sorry. I'm a Christian, but you are tre treasonous traitor gallows. You know, hang on the own gallows that you have set for us, our Americans. This is you in America. We protect our military men. We protect them. We don't let them die. We don't. We don't call off search and rescues. We don't call off CC, CCO missions to rescue them out of Benghazi. This is absolutely disgusting. And I have a feeling that the mainstream media is not going to want to cover this, but they're going to have no choice because this information is already viral. That's why we released it last night. It went viral. The American people want to know what's going on, what has happened under our noses, how much were we lied to we want to know the truth it's time to know the truth and i have and hillary clinton and the obama administration have known that there is a chance that this will come out there is a hot chance this will come out and that is why they never wanted president trump to win he wasn't supposed to win according to them um they were trying to steal it from him that's why they're trying to impeach him that's why they're doing anything even crashing an economy with a, with a pandemic covid to make sure that he doesn't get reelected he will get reelected in jesus name and when these documents do come out when the congressman asks to hold hearings subpoenas will come out this we're i'm ready i don't know if you got your popcorn ready gary but i got my popcorn ready for justice in this country this 2020 has been crazy but hopefully it's full of justice